Welcome everyone, Adam DeWoo here as the recording of this Saturday, February 5th, 2022. I have procured a piping hot caffeinated beverage and there is a, a bean on the front of there. It's not a human bean, but behind me is not only a coffee shop by that name, but also a human who also has a bean on top of your coffee. I already ate it. It's oh, you already ate it? Yeah. Todd Venture from YouTube. What are we gonna do today? Any we're, idea? we're gonna do like a couple of cool towns, like a small cool town called Cramerton. Okay. A little town called Belmont. And another town called McCaddenville, which is our Christmas city. And also, All right. Mount Holly. So you're familiar with this neck of the woods? I'm a little bit familiar with it. Get going, I'm inviting you to join me. I should try my bean too, huh? Yeah, the bean's awesome. Oh, that's the way to do it right there. Is it a cappuccino bean? Cappuccino bean. That's what I think it is. I'm gonna venture around with Todd. Todd Venture. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Nailed it. And just to give a general layout of the land, looking at the atlas here. So right next to the bottom of the coffee cup, where my sunglasses are pointing, the tip of it. Starting off in Gastonia. And I believe we're just gonna kinda go over here. There's Cramerton, there's Belmont. So we're just gonna kinda go around in this area and just see what can be seen. No real rhyme or reason or game plan. Just some back roads and small towns. Pretty good coffee too, I took a sip. Pretty tasty. All right, arrived at Front Street in, what's the name of this town, Cramerton? This is Cramerton, Cramerton. Front Street. You know what this kind of reminds me, I've seen the videos of the, what do they call it, the corkscrew bridge or the can opener bridge? Can opener bridge. Is this, is this a can opener bridge or that it's, because? It, actually the can opener bridge I think is 11 feet. Oh, so it's even. feet tall. This one's 13, so it's a little bit higher. Okay. So, That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, it does. And there's a railroad, railroad tracks that go right above this. All right, down here is some water going down the drain. There's also a surfing goat right there. It says only rain down the drain and more on the goat painting there because there's an island right across from town with a bridge and the name of the island is Goat Island. We're gonna walk over there. And the nickname it gets is Khaki Town. And the reason it's given that nickname is because all of these uniforms were made here and shipped over to the troops. Isn't that interesting? All right here in Craverton, this little town. That's where all the uniforms came from. Genuine Cramerton, right there. Take a look at that. This is the downtown stretch, post office there, zip code 28032. And right here next to the very retro, well not retro, but Art Deco fire department is another painting here next to the drains. Some of them will say only water. They don't want you to, ooh, that wind is, a little bit of wind chill. A little bit of wind chill. Going through here. But the ones that do say only water in the drains, I think they're referring to Cousin Eddie. You don't wanna you don't wanna empty your RV tank in here like Cousin Eddie. Yeah, Cousin Eddie's bad. That would be that would not be good. No. In fact, this right here, this fish has an umbrella and it has all the, the garbage, garbage getting yeah. tossed. So don't don't put your garbage down in the drain. Don't be a cousin Eddie. Edmonton is about cleanliness and innocence and just Keep your streets clean. That's the Craverton motto? Yeah, I guess. I just made that. You paraphrased it. Yeah. So back in the day, so a lot of the mills would uh, supply their, you know, the homes for the workers. These are old mill homes. Old mill homes and for the families because they, they work long hours and especially during uh, times where they, uh, people would need them to make certain clothing like the twill like you saw. Uh, so the mill workers would leave it, live in these mill yeah, homes. They'd walk, be walking distance from where they worked, you know. And then they'd supply the like right here. If you turn around, and you'll see the pharmacy. They get their groceries or their sun drop from this gentleman here. I don't know if he was born back then. There's but, two sun drop machines. Yeah, so, sun drop is made in North Carolina. Yes, it is. Did you bring your canoe? No, I think we're gonna have to swim it. We're gonna have to swim that. And, All right, uh, we're gonna swim it. Sw swim it. <laughs> no, they got a bridge, convenient bridge. For Can us. you imagine how cold it would be if we swam across there? Yeah, it wouldn't be good. Yeah, you probably wouldn't. Be, this would be your last video. Can you imagine? 
good. All right, Goat Island. Now the goose is walking away from Goat Island. Goat Island, see the goose walking up the side of the berm there. Any recollection or information on why it's called Goat Island? Terrible. There's a history, believe it or not, about this area. There was a great flood. Okay. They came through here, I want to say 1912 or 1916, one of those. But I'm wondering if they were there and there was a farm and it got swept away. Oh, so the goats went downstream? They may went downstream and started their own thing up, up their north. Own their own goat colony? goat colony up north. It here. looks like it's flooded a little bit too. The river's a little yep. higher up because these stairs are covered up. Yep. It meets on both sides. What does it meet up to? It, the main, it's like Catawba, Catawba. It's Catawba River. Yeah, it's, it's Catawba River, and it splits. Okay. Down here. So it kind of goes in a circle. It goes in a circle, and then okay. it's again on the other side of the, of the island. And over there is a little gazebo, and that's where we just were with the uh, the mural was over mm -hmm. there. And you can sit down here with your coffee in your rocking chair. Yeah, that's and, nice. And enjoy the river. It's a very muddy river. I noticed the rivers in North Carolina are very muddy. Get that. We're famous for that clay. That orange the clay, clay, yeah. Back in there. So Todd was just telling me that sometimes during torrential rains, even modern day, this will be completely covered. You can't even you can't even walk around in here. There's just so much water. You can't even see the ground. Yeah, I could see how the river would kind of flood up over this. That's why the goats congregated elsewhere. But at least the, at least the island is named after the goats. So yeah. they got they got that at least. All right, there's that goat in the canoe. And you can see the stream. It's nothing too powerful, but there's a leaf or something going by there. There's another leaf going by. The Goat Island Pier. Now you brought me over here because you said there's something you want to show. It, over here, it looks like you're going to Hogwarts. There's the regular bridge for the cars. Now yeah. we'll be on that bridge. Oh, that trestle? That trestle. Oh, wow. Wait. I think it's huge. It sure it's is. Tunnels. It might be. It I think might, it might be, be three two. Tunnels. Three tunnels. But we're here in Goat Island, we're checking out the uh, trussel over here of the bridge. Gotta get closer. It'll remind you of the, the Potter Bridge where the Jacobite uh, train goes. To now, do you follow any of the folklore of Harry Potter? Do you know what you yes. know what house you are? Yes. What house I are am you? Hufflepuff. And my wife is too. We did the thing. You did the you did the Sorting Hat. We did the Sorting Hat, and we're both Hufflepuff. I'm a Ravenclaw. You're Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Yeah. I wanted to be Slytherin, but I was chosen as a Raven as a Ravenclaw. Yeah, you got to shave too, I think. I have to shave to be Slytherin? Yeah. So I'm, you gotta look at that, you know, like, you know, think of Voldemort, but, you know. But you Ravenclaws know. can have a beard? But Ravenclaws have a beard, oh yeah. I'm just making that Oh, you're making that up? I almost fell for it. Is that what Hufflepuffs do? Yeah, we, we kind of, like, just kid people, or, yeah. And nervously just look around. <laughs> 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 All right, now this is a legit can opener bridge. 10 feet. And this car obviously way less than 10 feet. But if a truck, well a truck wouldn't even be able to go through here. 10 feet. The size of a basketball course. See that truck lower than 10 feet. But that's like slam dunking a basketball. So you figure an 18 wheeler. Yeah this is definitely a can opener. More the other one was 13 feet. This is only 10. This is definitely a can opener bridge. And you could tell where they hit the top. There, you can see it? Yeah, you look at the. Look oh, at yeah. The sure is. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That's where they smacked the heck out of it. Look at that. Even underneath the bridge, right here. Sure so, is. They made it past the first stage. In this year. And that was it. Just got stuck right there. Yeah, it looks Just really shredded cool. the whole top of it. It looks recent. Look at the how fresh sure that looks right there. Wow. <laughs> that has got to be a jarring experience for a truck driver. Yeah. Both sides? Yeah. It's not pretty good on both sides. Looks like they had something here kind of warning with the pavements, whatever they had there. Right. Came off. That looks like a looks like a lightsaber handle. Yep. It does. It does kinda, right? Yeah. I haven't seen a train the whole time we've been around this area. Maybe there's not the train come by. Maybe there's not one running today. You never know. Or later, maybe later today. Once we get out of this town, there'll probably be seven of them. Yes. That's usually how it works. Yeah. But each town we're going in has a train track in. Oh, they're all train towns? Yeah. So this train, we're, we're going to go to Belmont. This track goes right into Belmont. Have made it over to Belmont. 
you'll notice the newer train station there is now used as a restaurant. And these tracks are no longer quite operational. We don't have to worry about a train. We don't have to have, we're not gonna have a stand by me moment. Unless they're doing a DeLorean test. We can have a Back to the Future, in the Back to the Future yeah, 3 we, moment. We may have to run if we see a DeLorean coming down the track. Or maybe even Doc's train. That is very possible. Yeah, weird things have happened in the Carolinas. Here's my shadow. I'll give a wave. <laughs> this is, what'd you call this? The train switcher. Switch? I think it's a switch, yeah. It's a switch yeah, a switch track. track. Right there. I don't want to get too close to that. I don't, I, I don't even want to walk near that, to be honest with you. Throw the switch track. Pull it into the station. Yeah, so right there, if the train was coming right now. Did I startle you? Huh? Did I startle you? I was doing yeah, my yeah. Doc Brown. Yeah. Pull it into the station. Check pants. You check you check your pants, so you're good? <laughs> and there's a water tower. <laughs> Pull it into the station. My Doc Brown sounds more like Seinfeld. And from this angle, gonna go into the historic district and the entire downtown of Belmont is on the National Register of Historic Places. You can see how some, a lot of these older buildings are converted into new establishments like this brewery. Yeah. So I just learned something new. This restaurant NSK is owned by who? The Jonas Brothers parents own it. Oh, so they're from yeah. this area? I don't think, I don't know if they're from this area. I know they live here in the area. And it's Nellie's Southern Kitchen. That's what the NSK uh, NSK. Yeah. That's a fun fact. Yeah. And right here on Main Street is the City Hall. Look at this beauty. Oh, I see a Coca-Cola mural down there. We're going to have to walk down there and take a look at that. All the way down there at the end of that incline. Got the inscription there, Bank of Belmont. This has seen some years, this building. I'm still on the fence whether that's a newer mural they painted within the last couple decades or one from way back in the day. However, this one I am convinced is from way back in the day. You can even see slightly faded there, it says Belmont. And there are three, at least three different faces up there on this mural. But it's very faded out. Tough to make out who the people are painted on this wall. 59 or something. It looks like a 59% or mm -hmm. some kind of number. So there were advertisements here along this side too. Yeah. A ghost side. That's what they call those. Really? That's the technical term I've been told. I didn't know that. Because you could cut, they're kind of like haunting you from right. the past, right from the side of the wall. No. I think it's a good term. I just learned that recently, in the last, oh, in the last month or so. And here's the former depot that is now a bike shop, he was just telling me. It says Piedmont and Northern Railway. Piedmont and Northern R-Y. What's the R-Y stand for? That's a good question. Rail Yard. Rail, Rail Yard. yard. Rail Yard. Yep. It's kind of nice how this little community has definitely utilized some of the old buildings. Very thriving, which you don't see in a lot of small towns. The old Belmont Jailhouse circa that says 1969 on the side. I would have guessed it would have been a lot older than that. Blue the windows. <laughs> oh yeah, this is definitely has to be older than 1969. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You think maybe that's when the, that's when they they put the restaurant into I it? Yeah, that's probably when they did the when they the repurpose it in there. You see, look at the, the bars over there. I don't remember bars being on these windows. <laughs> I'm just doing a lot of movie quotes. Yeah, look at this. And then down here, there's this little alcove area going down to the cells. That's a very unique architecture. Very unique. Also here in town is this antique mall underneath the water tower. Gonna stop in here for a moment. Do you do a lot of antiquing? Yes. See, Some of my videos, I will. I'll, you do a lot of videos of? I do videos of toy hunts and antiquing okay. in small towns and events. So you know this place pretty well. Oh yeah. yeah, this is a good one. It is the Catawba River Antique Mall, as shown here as well, painted on the side. And there's a big boy right there. Oh man, this makes me miss Burbank and going to Bob's and Burbank. 
over by Warner Brothers. So you're saying this is a Shoney's? Yeah, so yeah. there was there was there's Bob's, Bob's there's boy. Shoney's, right. and there was Fisher. I think so. Yeah. Fisher. So this is a Shoney's, Shoney's big boy. Big boy. Yeah. Okay, it reminds me of Bob's big boy, obviously, but because I think the one in Gatlinburg was a Shoney's. Okay. Is there a Bob's or is there a big boy in Gatlinburg? Yep. Oh my gosh, now I see why you brought me in here. Look at all these like skeleton shells of the old phone booths. And not just the shells, but here are some active, very, they're in good shape here too. Now these are only 24, that's very tempting. $24 just to have, and this is an antique, this is, is an antique relic. Now we're over here in another parking lot overlooking the lake, which was flooded out many years ago. There's a sign behind us, gives a little information about the water came all the way up the side of this hill, flooded this whole region. Back in 1916, Western North Carolina and Western Piedmont destroyed homes, crops, mills, bridges. Ten lives lost. July 16th of 1916. Some of the artifacts did? Yeah, when we went to kid back in the 70s. We went down the creek, down Sugar Creek. We found these porcelain plates that were just sitting there under the dirt. Waiting here at this light to move on to the next little town. They are just they are just taking that Taco Bell apart. Right Going now. through a, what looks to be an old Dairy Queen parking lot. It's now called Pelican Snow Cones. So it kind of looks like a either Dairy Queen or in California, this could have been a Foster's Freeze. Of course, they, didn't have, they don't have Foster's Freeze in North Carolina, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, look at that relic. This neighborhood through here, like you were just saying, kind of kind of celebration. I show that dog's pee up. Yeah, this makes me miss home. Does kind of look celebrationish. Mm -hmm. And there is the McCaddenville Post Office. And as the recording of this, it's February fifth. The fifth? Yeah. I say that earlier. Yeah, it's the fifth, and they still have some Christmas lights along the side there. There's a Floyd's Bakery right there. There is a looks like an old Five and Dime. This is the corner of Main and Elm Street. Yeah, this definitely dates back to the golden era, pre-golden era. I'm not sure, maybe around the front there'll be a clue of what this was. But I don't see a plaque. Okay, it says McCadden Memorial Hall. Yeah. R.Y. McCadden Memorial Hall, right there. Yeah, I love the windows, okay. look at this. Rail Yard too, Rail Yard. Rail Yard McCadden, okay, Memorial Rail Yard Hall. McCadden Memorial Hall. Oh yeah, they're using it as like an art studio of sorts. Oh, there's a plaque right there, I'm trying to make it out. Library oh, and Public Hall. Library, okay, right up there. Library and public hall above the door front. 1867. That's when it was built. Incorporated in 1965. It's a magnolia, I think. It's a magnolia. Now, does this usually have like a, not pine cones, but a pine yes. cone S you can type see. of. Obviously, not a pine cone, but that's just the closest similarity I can yeah. think to what grows on the branches. Okay, this is what drops from the tree. Let me take a little of that. So like, it's not really a pine cone. No, but they're like they have seeds in them and stuff. Yeah, very. I'm so, I'm, so it's winter time, so they've all kind of fallen down yeah. around here. What would that be called? A pod, maybe. A pod? Maybe something like that. A pod? Because they would carry a bunch of seeds and they would come out. They pop the top off. Yeah. Break it. Incoming! Oh! The Yule log ceremonial fireplace. Here it is, right here. Yule Log Ceremonial Fireplace. Ceremonial Fireplace. So yeah, this is like, I think they burned this at the beginning of Christmas season. Oh, okay, they, so they, when they, when they get ready for this kind of kicks off the holidays? Off. Yeah, they put the Yule Log in there, and I'm not sure, but I'm almost thinking they keep it burning during the Christmas season if they can. All right, this is really fascinating. This propeller is one of two that powered the turbines at the Historic Textile here in town. And back in 1884, look who was here in McCaddenville that came to oversee the process. Thomas Edison himself was here in town back in 1884 at the mill, at the old mill, placing one of these two propellers. That that kind of blows your mind a little bit. Yeah, when you see Thomas Edison's name on anything, it's... Especially knowing that he was in this town. In this town, supervising that, yeah. 
pretty amazing. And here's the town hall building across the way and the bell leading into McCaddenville, corner of Maine and Poplar. Yeah, I'm gonna say this might have been a church building at one point before the town hall. That's what it looks like. Let me just kind of try to zoom in on this. Are and the pews still in? Yeah, the pews are still in. Oh, here we go. Yeah, look. Got the same glass right back there. Are you seeing something that gives a little info on it? McCaddenville, United Methodist Church. Oh, it was a Methodist church? Yeah, 1882. Local Methodist worshipers separated from the community. Okay, so yeah. before it was the town hall, it was the United Methodists. The McShane Bell dated 1892. Got uh, kind of a rusted out. No, it won't, it won't ring. I have to wonder if it was up there in that bell tower. Maybe? It's like a lighthouse. Do you see it on the old photo? Well, there's a bell tower, so I'm wondering if it was, I bet you it was in there. I bet it was in the bell tower. So it's from the, yeah, because it was 1892, right? Yep. So it'd have been two, this is 1890, maybe two years later they put it yeah, up in that bell, bell tower. Yeah. yeah. It sounds about right to me. I pulled over here at this, what used to be a family video store. Now I've seen a few of these in recent years open still in the state of Indiana. And as we were driving by, I said, we gotta pull over, I gotta show this. I thought maybe it'd be open, but it appears as if this one has closed. Now there's a pizza place next to it called Marco's Pizza, which appears to still be open, attached to the video store. And this is kind of this, this relic here with the, the glass leading its way all the way up to the top there. Very unique looking, but yeah, family video was a video store up until very recently. It's possible the ones in Indiana have closed too. Haven't been back through there in a while. You can see, oh, it's open. I was not expecting that to be open. Wow. Now these doors aren't open. Yeah, these doors are locked, but the front little foyer was unlocked. I was not expecting that. Ceiling fans are on in there. Maybe they're doing some work. Here's the video return slot here. And could this be open? No, that's locked. Oh, look over here is the Marcos Pizza. We have like a little order booth there where it says order here and you would get a little takeout from Marcos Pizza which is still open next door. I didn't expect this to be open. No, and you get the drop off box still there. And you, 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 I heard your excitement yes, I saw from it. your vehicle. I was emanating <laughs> my energy as we found this. These aren't open though. No. Oh. So this is a chain also, this pizza place? Yeah, yeah. You don't see much of Marco's pizza. They're kind of on the way out too. This yeah. one's open. It's still open. Yeah, you get the birds are chilling out in the, in the window the there. A's there in the oh yeah, the little bird nest in the A's. In both the A's. Yep. The A's and the O's. Arrived in Mount Holly now. Mount Hollywood Vintage. I see what they did there. Holly, Hollywood. It's kind of a nice little little yeah. combo of words there. This also, this little stretches on the National Register of Historic Places as well. And here's a skeleton up on top of the summit here. This was dated 1927, the Sumi building, S-U-M-M-E-Y. This is a place called the Vintage Nest. Almost looks like it could have been an old movie theater. Yeah. Possibly, it's like the, the structure of a movie theater style. You can almost picture the marquee there. The bricks going around the rectangle. Oh, this one here, the yoga place? Yeah, and it has, that's probably where that's the marquee used to be. You think this was the movie theater, the middle one? I was thinking more like this. Oh no, this one here, but yeah, in the middle. where the marquee was there, up we, the yoga. If we walk around the back, we could probably get a better clue. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna say yes. Look at the size of this building. It's huge. This had to have been a movie theater. Do you know what this was at one time? Don't. Okay. I'm just going on, I'm just going to go out on a limb because there's a limb right there. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this was the movie theater. All right, went ahead and went inside, kind of pointing at the back here. It's all been completely renovated, but talked to the people working and they said it was in fact a movie theater with the screen back in the back and then towards the front, up at the front top portion before the, where the entry doors are is where the projection booth was, so confirmed. And the employees also mentioned that it was a movie theater first and then became a department store and they renovated the front before it went on the National Registry. So this is one of the few buildings on this stretch which is not on the National Registry. Everything to the side of it is, 
but the old theater isn't because it was a department store and they would have to make the front of it look like it did back in the movie theater days. Kind of interesting how all that works. I, I like this a lot. Look at this. Oh, right here, yeah. Laundry, the R. Laundry shirt. I really hope a train does not pull around now. A gentleman is there with his dogs. I believe I just put it into the universe. And <laughs> hey, that truck is living dangerously. We're gonna get a train. Where's the train? I see that. Okay, it went down. Oh, there it is. There he is. We're excited. There go. I haven't done it. There goes the monorail in a while. So I'm gonna do a. There goes the local mo locomotive. Well, it's local. It's it's local. It's a local locomotive. Yes. Bring it. Everyone in town's like looking at me like, why is that guy yelling at the train? Do you get excited about trains also? Yes. So I'm not the only one? No. What was that? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm gonna back up just a little bit. Awesome. Hello. That is so cool. We're so close to this. Just rolling through town. Man, that is cool. Look at that. Dang, just right here on the main thoroughfare. This is cool. The traffic all parked over there, just watch it. We got a pretty good view of this. Right on the edge of the track. I'm not even gonna edit this, it's gonna be one long tag. Yeah, here's all, like the game. as close to a train as you want to get. You can't get any closer. Don't want to go past this little gate here. Yeah, I've sat up. But this is just up close and personal. Wow. All right, I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna keep it going, putting this down on the ground. All right, let's get over there and get a photo here next to this pole. The little things. I think I'm gonna have a moment of quietness here just so I can give the what do they call it ASMR? Is that what they can say? Of just the train. And you guys at home can loop this. Just loop it. Just put on loop it. Passing a truck company that makes trucks. What's the name of this company? Freightliner. The Freightliner Company here. And there's a little kind of a movie title Hollywood history tied into this. We'll talk about it in a minute. Now, if you've ever seen, which I think most people have, Terminator 2, the trucks used in that movie were produced and created right here. So the scene where where Ani, that's right, come on! is chasing John Connor on the motorcycle through the little, the ditch, and the truck goes off. So yep. that truck would have been made right here on right this here. property. Yep. 
And if you watch the credits at the end of the movie, it says Mount Holly Freightliner. It would say around the credits. So if I watch the credits at the end of T yep. two, yep, I will see Mount Holly and Freightliner listed in listed there. Listed on there. Exactly. That is really cool. Yep. That's right. Come on. I'll do my Arnold for you. Come on. I'm doing a younger Arnold. You're doing, I mean, a, like 20 years you're doing old. a young, a, a young, young adult. I can't do other one like you. I was looking for Sarah Connor. I was told she was here. Can I see her, please? Yes, you may. And I was just on the Lucio Ball show. Did you see that episode? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah, are you, uh, yeah. He was on the Lucio Ball show. Yes. That's right. That's, That's right. I was. Come on. <laughs> That's just neat. They transported a few of these. How, so mm -hmm. the one in the ditch scene, was there other ones they used? I think there may have been. There, they said there were a number of ones they, of course, destroyed. Yeah. Yep. Well, they probably had more than one. A lot of these, you'll notice, don't have cabs on the back yet. A lot of these guys are kind of customized. Yeah. So they're not full cabbed out yet. Freightliner. Is that the name of it? Freightliner. Freightliner. That is so cool. All right, moving on. It's a lot of trucks. That's right, come on. Ooh. Here's a good little memento right here. It's the real thing. Had to pull over to look at this. Take a look. Very nice. Gusty, very gusty wind. Look at that. Right there, pointing at the bottle of Coca-Cola. Sometimes you'll see a name of a of the artist. Oh, over here, down at the end. And sometimes they'll even have a year. Oh yeah, this says, okay, this is new. This is by Boyce McKinney back in 2021, only oh, a year right. old. Wow. Or maybe it was retouched. Right. This looks like a classic though. Probably was just retouched up. And if it's new, that's a really that's a really dang good job of making it look old timey. Yeah, it is. Color is. Instead of a, a cap, yeah, wearing a, a bottle cap. Football cap it's a hat. real cap, not a not a baseball style cap, right. but a bottle style cap. You get the you get the sprite here, and it's not the one from the bottle because the bottle has a cap. So that's another one. He already consumed one. <laughs> that was a big one. If, if he consumed that, <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, I can tell in his eyes he's had too many. Has had one too many pops. Too many pops. Too many pops. Going on, yeah. He's saying, wait. Do you call it pop or do you call it soda pop or do you call it or cola? Uh, it depends on my mood at the time. Um, I'll say pop and soda pop. Yeah. It depends if I had a Pepsi. So. When I think of pop, I think of soda popinski. <laughs> what? Soda popinski. Oh, yeah. Yes, he was in Mike Tyson's Punch Out, the, the NES game. Oh, yeah. Soda popinski. Man, you're old. So, like me. He liked both. <laughs> Not that old. No, no. <laughs> I was born in 74. Oh, okay. What year were you born? 66. You're a few years older than I. <laughs> and it's funny because there's one bamboo out here that is the leader. It'll take it out. Interesting. Yeah, uh, I'm starting to want to hold a couple of cultures. I'm curious if I held it. <laughs> so if you find the main bamboo yeah. species, that's not, that's not the right the word. The mother of the bamboo. The mother of the bamboo, and yeah. you eliminate that, then all the other bamboo around it will just go away. Right. And that's the, that's the hard part, is finding which one. Yeah. Someone has thrown a, a drawer down here, some sort of a shelf unit. It's turning into like a little makeshift garbage dump down here. Yeah, what? Or it just rolled off on its own off. accord. Hopefully that's what happened. It looks like a, they had cart races going down Main Street. It does, yeah. And this, control. this one went awry. Yeah. Got the water tower here. Ranlo. Ranlo. R-A-N-L-O. That sounds right. R-A-N-L-O water tower. That's kind of unique. It has like a separate little bulbous area underneath the bottom of the, the proper tower there. Now right here on what is a self-designated, they only accept cash, junk museum. Vintage rust and DIY junk is a Bigfoot. Look at that jump. Look at this, right? This is called... Look like two eyeballs. Look like two eyeballs right there over, looking over the fence. Oh, yeah, I see it right there, yeah. <laughs> this is Highway 770? 
73. Yeah. Highway 73. And now pulling back up to where we started at the Human Bean Coffee Shop. I gotta do the in the outro in the same place that hours ago we did the intro. And I almost could get another coffee from over there for my road the road trip back to the hotel about an hour from here. Uh, how long is so where you live, how far? Yeah. About 30 minutes. Okay, so we drove about the same distance to yep. meet here. I left my car in the parking lot. Yep. You, We cruised around, and this whole time, I was thinking, Todd, that Ventures, because your channel is Todd Venture. Todd Venture. But it yep. just hit me. It's not, at, you're not going on an adventure, you're going on a Todd Venture. Yeah. yeah. Now I get it. Yeah. And you didn't get any boots on your wheel, which I was happy No about. boots, I got no tickets today. No ticket or boots. No tickets today, thankfully. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. Nailed it. You want another coffee? Just get one. <laughs> and they have some stickers down here. Quite an assortment of stickers. Yeah, we're going for round two. Two, you know, two coffees in one day is good. Oh, look at this. This has like it's a piping hot caffeinated. Yeah. All right. Now, I do normally do not drink a non-piping hot caffeinated beverage. I don't think I specified correctly. Uh, yeah, that right. was my bad. But at least we got two more. You've already eaten. I, I met my bean man. <laughs> what language are you just...